Hello YouTube and welcome to your sixth Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will be teaching you the else if statement. So to get started, go ahead and go to File, New Project, Windows Forms Application, and name it else if. Let me go and resize this a little bit. Okay, first add one list box to your form. Just resize it a little bit. And then for the items, go ahead and type, I don't know, a bunch of random names. Brian, Sam, Julia, Robert, John, and then Christian. Okay, so that should be good. Now, go ahead, double click on your list box and it should open up the code but hold on first I left out some go ahead and add one button to this and for the list box set it to set the name to list name and then set button to button hello and then go ahead and set your text for button hello to hello okay now let's get started double click on hello and we're going to start writing our code so firstly we need to declare a variable so dim your name as string and we'll set it equal to um, list name dot items and then we'll do list name dot selected index and then we'll go ahead and convert that to a string okay now let's move on. I'll explain that code in a second. So now we start our if statement. If your name is equal to uh, Brian, hold on. If your name dot to lower is equal to Brian. So okay, wait, hold on. I'll explain that in a second. So if your name not too lower equals Brian, then message box dot show hello Brian. And now we're going to do our else if statement. So else if your name dot to lower is equal to what was the next one? Um, Sam. Sam. All lowercase. Then message box dot show. Hello. Okay. Hello, Sam. And then you can do as many else ifs as you want. So, else if your name dot to lower is equal to Julia. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Equal to Julia, then message box dot show hello Julia okay now I didn't want to finish the rest of that because it would have taken too long just to write all the code when you know what I'm gonna do now let's go ahead and take the program for a test run so if I click run and then select Sam and say hello I get a message box saying hello Sam Hello Julia, 
Hello, Brian. And then nothing happens when I do it on John because I didn't I didn't write the code for it because um, you already know it's coming and it would just be a waste of time. So now I'm going to explain the code. So we first we started off by declaring a variable called your name and we made it a string and we did first name dot items. So this box right here uh, not first name, list name. This box right here is called list name. So list name dot items. So list name and then all the items in it. And then parentheses list name dot selected index. So selected index would be the one that the user has clicked. And then I went ahead and converted that to a string um, just so in case there was like a number or something on it, it wouldn't be uh, an integer saved as a string which would cause an error and then we st we started the if statement so if your name dot to lower equals Brian so if your name dot to lower so I I went ahead and converted all of these to lower for the if statement just in case I had anything else other than the capital the first letter capitalized so it's easier to compare so if your name dot to lower is equal to Brian then message box dot show hello Brian. Then else if if uh, your name dot two lower is equal to Sam, then message box dot show hello Sam. So it's basically a bunch of if statements all wrapped into one. Now to complete this code, I'll go ahead and just add an else statement. What an else does is if any value other than what you're testing for is returned, then it will do this code. So else message box dot show who are you now if we go ahead and run this if we click on Sam hello Sam but if I click down here it'll say who are you because I didn't write the else if statement to handle John so this is just a quick tutorial covering the else if statement and else so go ahead look at this code uh, practice it make your own program get familiar with this and then move on to the next tutorial thanks for watching and please subscribe